What's up guys? Stitch here. Welcome to Resident Evil 8 or Village. Either way you could put it at. So this is going to be our new for Friday horror game. This one will not have a camera, unfortunately, just because of the fact that if we do the camera, unfortunately, it will do my side and I don't want you guys to see that. So Resident Evil is not, I mean, it's a horror, but not so much. It's going to be mostly a thriller. So, subtitles on. English, English. Okay. Uh, continue with these settings. Yes, 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 yes. Go through all the privacy policy settings. Trauma pack. The following items have been added to your game. Samurai Edge, Mr. Everywhere, Weapon Charm. Pictures have been added to the open channel. Oh, found footage filter, tape recorder save point, and safe room music. Go tell MT Roadie. Uh, following bonus content has been added to your bonus. The tragedy of Ethan Winter's concept art, the Baker Incident Report. Uh, added the Village of Shadows difficulty. Would you like to recap Resident Evil 7 by Heart Story? Sure, why not? So just in case if no one else has played this, they can actually know okay. what's going on. Where to start? My name? It's Ethan. Ethan Winters. If you haven't played Seven, go play it. It's been three years since everything happened at the Baker House. I was looking for my wife, who disappeared. I got an email from her. She told me to come get her. And of course, that's how I ended up in the middle of nowhere, Louisiana. I found Mia being held captive in a dark basement. She wasn't thinking right. She attacked me like some kind of wild animal. Later on, I found out that she was infected by a special kind of mold. I looked all over the house trying to find an antidote, a vaccine, anything. People who lived there were already infected. What was left of them wasn't human. The source of the infection was a bioweapon that looked like a little girl. Her name was Evelyn. I fought the fucked up family and was able to treat Mia's symptoms with a serum. Then Chris Redfield and his soldier buddy showed up and saved the both of us. Th is that enough? That's about it. I really don't want to talk about what happened anymore. Well, it's all over now. Uh, no. Unfortunately, it isn't there, buddy. All right. Bonuses. Movies, okay. Tragedy, Baker Incident, Options, Special, uh, Tape Recorder Save Point, and I don't care for that. And make weapon charms viewable in game. Yes, I will definitely do that. RE Net, yeah, that's on. Language. Subtitles, audio, display, brightness, ray tracing on game settings. We'll keep aim assist on at the moment until we find out how annoying it's going to be. So. <sighs> oh, aiming camera. That is definitely going to go to three. Cool. New game. Survive is survive the unsurvivable. So there's casual, standard, and hardcore. So we'll go with standard. We're gonna play this standard, and then depending on how this is, Village of Shadows. Long ago, a young girl went with her mother to pick berries for her father, who was hard at work. But the forest greeted them with a dark, cold silence. The bushes empty. 
Yet determined to find the berries, the rascal broke free from Mother's grasp and vanished into the trees. Mother's worried cries faded fast as the girl ran on, over vine and under branch, and into the forest deep. Feeling strange eyes upon her, the girl recalled Mother's scary bedtime tales, and her throat became bone dry. Then the Pat Lord appeared. He greeted her warmly and bit his own wing. Come, child, quench your thirst, he said. So she drank the thick, dark blood and smiled with joy. Passing through the graveyard, menacing storm clouds loomed, and the air turned bitingly cold. The girl was shivering in her thin clothes. Then a dark weaver appeared, and with a click of his fingers, crafted mist into a beautiful dress. Come, child, warm yourself, he coaxed. So she clothed herself and smiled with joy. Across waters deep and ominous she went, hoping a boat she found would carry her home. But hunger's grip tightened and her heart grew heavy. Then the fish king appeared and offered one of his many fins. Come, child, eat your fill. So the girl ate and smiled with joy once more. Continuing on, she soon entered the forest's dark heart. Then an iron steed appeared, bearing a beautiful golden gear. The creature said nothing as the girl approached and snatched what she thought was another gift. The horse grew angry and summoned the other monsters. Terror filled the girl's heart as the wild wind rose around the beast. Suddenly, a witch appeared, dark yet regal. an interesting kid story gifts we gave but more you took she snarled so more in turn is due in a blink the girl was trapped inside a mirror <laughs> there she's asleep what is with the creepy story she's only six months old woman at the store said it was traditional <laughs> a local tale Besides, Rose doesn't seem to mind. Because she doesn't understand it, thank God. We moved here so that she wouldn't have to deal with any of that, remember? There's nothing wrong with my memory. You're just being paranoid. It's not... Never mind. I'm sorry. But I'm not paranoid. I'm just cautious. Then, go cautiously take your daughter to bed. I'll finish dinner. They changed her. She looks completely different. It's okay, Rose. Your mother doesn't want to remember it. I can't blame her. Did you say something? Nothing. I'll put her down. Don't get too close to me when I'm cooking, babe. Go there. It's the front door. What's this? Huh. I can actually open drawers while the baby's in here. Once things warm up, we can go for a walk. Hey! Keep it down. Just making sure it's locked. Wonder if there's anything hidden in this game when you're wearing the child. Mia makes everything by hand, so this stuff keeps piling up. Doing, mister? Ah, another drawer. <sighs> Our taste in music's definitely improved over the years. You mean mine has. Once you're a big girl, we'll have a drink together, all right?
Alright, let's go upstairs. Now we're not timed anymore, so this should be a lot better. There, there. It's like I said to your mom. That book's too scary for you. medication. She's been on strict regimen ever since that incident. That's not a good thing. Your mama and I love this song so much. Almost there, honey. Okay, so that's the right room to go. Hey, it's one of the bubble dolls. Why do I even keep this around? I should get rid of it someday. No, uh, it's a token that you survived that hell of a place. <coughs> Gotta do a deep clean before Rose starts walking around. Curtain closes on the Dolvi gas incident. The community completed their investigation on the 18th into the Dolvi toxin gas leak in Louisiana, 2017. They concluded that the deaths were caused by a leak of natural gas that had built up in the Murdoch under the area. Jack Baker, 57, and his family who were exposed to the gas perished. Ethan Winters and his wife were also believed to be to be have been nearby, but their current whereabouts are unknown. The entire area has been closed off by unofficials who believe it will be at least 10 years before the area is habitable again. Everyone's forgotten about this already. Yeah. Historical look of our traditional views in Europe. Castles and keeps by Greg Trevor. George Trevor. Oh. That looks like everything is over here, so let's go back. Oh. Drawer. Our room. Nothing in the closet. That's where I have to put the crib. Put the baby down. Rose is closed for tomorrow. <laughs> Birthday or... I wish it could stay like this forever. Gun survival is a heavy firearms manual. I know I have to really have to get you. Well, hi there, little Rose. Name, Rosemary Winters, date of birth, 2-8-2020. Screening, hearing, vision, touch, reflex tests, all results show no issues, patients in good health, other notes, results for additional fungal pathogen tests will be provided by BSSA, BSAA, Applefeld Memorial Hospital. Rose is fine. February 6, 2021. Mia and I have another fight. Oh, me and I had another fight. I actually mentioned what happened three years ago, and she blew up at me. We finally settled down in our new life in Europe and can bring Rose up probably, but I still feel like a part of me is trapped in that hellhole back in Louisiana. I know Mia doesn't like to talk about it, but uh, can we really just forget everything and pretend it didn't happen? Shouldn't we face what happened there so we can live our lives with Rose without hanging it over our heads? We owe her that much, at least. 
I know Mia knows this too. She just she wouldn't have exploded like that at the hospital if she didn't care. Can't keep your mother waiting. She's scary when she's angry. Yeah, we know that all that too well. There you go, sweetheart. Don't you worry. I'll be right downstairs. Daddy won't let those weird fairy tale monsters get you. Alright. Is she okay? Sleeping like a, uh, well, like a baby. Hmm, <laughs> that smells good. What's that? Oh, hands off, Mister. It's chorba de la gum. It's a local recipe. Wow, you've gone full native, haven't you? Mm -hmm. Local wine too. But if you're gonna keep sulking all evening, maybe you shouldn't have any. <clears throat> you really have to stop worrying. <sighs> it's just. Finding you in Louisiana, the pregnancy, Chris moving us here, military training, it all happened so fast, you know? Well, at least we're all together. You, me, Rose. Now, everything's gonna Seriously, be- Seriously, think we can just forget about what happened in Louisiana? It happened so long ago. I just, I don't understand why you are so- <laughs> Mia, get down! Oh, well, that just happened. Mia, oh, God. Chris, what the hell? Sorry, Ethan. What? Why? Oh, Chris is an asshole. Good to know. Leon was always a better main character for Resident Evil. Oh, Eagle. move! All clear. Rose? What the hell are you doing with my daughter? Package secure, sir. Take him away. I said get your hands off her! Ethan, no. Well, all I can say is please tell me I get to kill Chris. I don't matter. I don't know. It doesn't. There's no right for Chris to shoot Mia. Hey, Doc. Hey, Doc. Hello, Mr. Winters. I've got your daughter's results back, and I'd like you to come in to talk about that. How about the next day at 4 o'clock? No problem. We'll be there. That was the Doc. She'll see us next week. Hey, now. Think positively, all right? We talked, we talked about, about this. this. I, know. I know. We hardly talk about anything else. I keep telling you, it's not Rose that I'm worried about. Well, then what are you worried about? Look, she's going to be fine. I just know it. What else matters? We matter, Ethan. You matter. You just won't. Mia, what are you talking about? Is there something you're not telling me? Come on, talk to me. Damn it. Damn it. I have to, I have take, to take this. this. <laughs> 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 Two 
Jesus. About damn time. What's your status? Is the package safe? What are you talking about? Where's Chris Redfield? And Rose? Who is this? This is a secure channel. You are not authorized to walk over. Fuck. What the hell happened to you? Looks like we swerved off. Useless. May mission objectives. Eliminate target. Recover body. Secure Rosemary Winters and Ether Winters. Move to t move the two Winters to Site C for further investigation. At least two transport officers to accompany them. going on What the hell is out there? Something deroded us. Blood there. Just turn myself around. I can. Oh. All right, something's here. Oh yeah, something's here. Oh whoa. Oh yeah. We're gonna run into something. Damn it! Fucking crow. Don't say to me. I'm just gonna keep going straight. That's all I'm gonna do.
Something is in here with me. Let's grab that brush or something to protect your ass there, either. Grab something! Yeah, that's not creepy at all. Blood that goes down here. Bloody coat and a butcher's thing. Onion or garlics. Flashlight kind of sucks. There's a symbol. Oh yeah, there's something definitely hiding in there. Potatoes. What did all this? Damn. Someone just Kool-Aid. Kool-Aid, man. The freaking wall. Well, I can see better now. Alright. This will be a good spot to call this episode, so stay tuned for the next episode. Resident Evil 7, or Resident Evil 8. I keep saying 7, don't know why.